Russia's retreat from Kherson city has been extremely embarrassing for the Kremlin and the Russian president. Why Russian forces were forced to retreat? When the Ukrainian forces started a successful counteroffensive early in September, around 20,000 of Russian forces decided to stay in Kherson. Then Ukraine started shelling the Antonovsky Bridge and Novokohova Dam on Dimpro River. The only two crossing area, cutting Russian support from Zaporizhia to Kherson. Once those two bridges were damaged, 20,000 of Russian troops found themselves surrounded. Which is significantly bad news for Russians because those 20,000 are some of the best. Ukrainian forces started shelling at Russian positions on the west bay of Dimpro River, which forced Russians to retreat to the east bay of the river. Russian forces didn't want to repeat the same mistake when they fled from Kyiv in a bit chaotic way, and leaving tons of military equipment for free to the Ukrainians. If Russians retreating from Kyrgyzstan makes some sense in their opinion to cut the Russians' losses and save soldiers' lives, it is still a major loss. Why is Kyrgyzstan such an important prize for both sides? For Ukraine, Kyrgyzstan is the only regional capital to be captured by Russian forces, and it's a key to the entire southern region. And to cut off supports to the Russian forces coming from southeastern areas. Through Kyrgyzstan, Ukraine can cut off fresh water from the Dimpro River to Crimea. Kyrgyzstan region links mainland Ukraine to Russian annex Crimea. And that means Ukraine would still be moving forward and pushing more towards Crimea. With Crimea's bridge not fully repaired, it means that the Russian forces in Crimea will be in a very dangerous position. What about news from Russia? Kyrgyzstan's news has sounded like thunder in Russia, as much as those stepbacks in Kyiv and Kharkiv before. The head of the Czech Republic, Ramzan Kadyrov, took pains to say the retreat from Kherson made sense. The Kremlin remained insisting that battlefield developments in Kherson region is nowhere represented as an embarrassment to Putin. On the other side, some of Putin's supporters started to criticize the corruption in Ministry of Defense and lying about the Russian troops' capabilities. No doubt that Putin's regime is under significant pressure. But does it mean that Putin will be taken out of his position? To be honest, no. Most of criticisms are towards the Russian army and Ministry of Defense, not Putin himself.